Welcome to Alpha Numeric Tricks. In this video, we are going to see problems under elimination of arbitrary functions and to form a partial differential equation. This is the continuation of the problem set in the topic elimination of arbitrary functions. The previous problem set link is in the, given uh, in the description box. Please refer to it. Now we will see some more problems in this topic. You have to form a partial differential equation uh, by eliminating arbitrary function phi from the function phi of x squared plus y squared plus z squared comma z squared minus 2xy is equal to 0. Now you can see the given problem as phi of x squared plus y squared plus z squared comma z squared minus 2xy is equal to 0. This is of the form phi of u comma v is equal to 0. You have to rewrite this given problem as u is equal to f of v or v is equal to f of u. You can write it where u is x squared plus y squared plus z squared and v is z squared minus 2xy. Now substituting u and v values here, u is x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to f of v is z squared minus 2xy. Number this equation as 1. In this equation 1, what is the order of uh, resulting PDE? Yes, it is 1. How you can say that it is 1? Because only one function to be eliminated here. That's why the resulting PDE is of order 1. Now, we will eliminate this function by differentiating 1 partially with respect to x and y. And we have to eliminate the function. Differentiate 1 partially with respect to the independent variable x. Then you have differentiation of x squared becomes 2x plus differentiation of y squared with respect to x is 0 because y is taken as constant and the constant differentiation becomes 0 uh, because you are doing a partial derivative with respect to x y is taken as constant plus differentiation of z squared is 2z into dou z by dou x that is taken as p is equal to you have to take the uh, derivative of this function uh, f of z squared minus 2xy with respect to x. So, f of uh, differentiation of f with respect to x is dou f by dou x or f dash into inside the, the, the terms inside the function you have to differentiate with respect to x partially and that should be written in the bracket otherwise you are confused with this function. So, differentiation of z squared is 2z into dou z by dou x that is taken as p minus 2 into here y is constant because we are doing partial derivative with respect to x. So, 2y into differentiation of x with respect to x becomes 1. Number that equation as 2. Now, you have to differentiate 1 partially with respect to the another independent variable y. Then you have differentiation of x squared with respect to y becomes 0 because x is constant when you are doing partial derivative with respect to y and the constant differentiation becomes 0. Plus differentiation of y squared with respect to y is 2y plus differentiation of z squared with respect to y is 2z into dou z by dou y that is taken as q is equal to differentiation of this function f with respect to y is dou f by dou y or f dashed into terms inside this function are differentiated with respect to y and should be written in the bracket. So, you have differentiation of z squared with respect to y is 2z into dou z by dou y that is taken as q minus here 2 into x is taken as constant because partial derivative with respect to y we are doing. So, 2x into differentiation of y with respect to y becomes 1. Number that equation as 3. Now, how will you eliminate the function here? Yes, you have to divide equation 2 by 3 then f dash get cancel. So, you are cross multiplying then you can get the uh, resulting p. So, divide 2 by 3 that gives 2x plus 2 is at p divided by 2y plus 2 is at q is equal to f dash into 2 is at p minus 2y divided by f dash into 2 is at q minus 2x. 
here in the all the terms in the in the in the numerator and the denominator 2s common so take it outside and here also 2s common take it outside then you have 2 into uh, x plus z p divided by 2 into y plus z q is equal to f dash into 2 into z p minus y divided by f dash into uh, 2 into z q minus x this 2 to get cancelled and f dash f dash get cancelled and this 2 to get cancelled so remaining term you have is x plus z p divided by y plus z q is equal to z p minus y divided by z q minus x now cross multiply these two terms you have x plus z p into z q minus x is equal to z p minus y into y plus z q now you have to multiply term by term that is x is multiplied with this these two terms z q minus x so you have x z q minus x minus x and x you have minus x squared plus z p is multiplied with these two terms z p into z q you have z squared p q z p into minus x you have minus z p x and here you have to multiply z p with this y so z p y and you have to take this to left hand side it becomes minus z p y and here z p is multiplied with this z p so z squared p q that is taken to the left hand side so you have minus z squared p q and here minus y into minus y what is uh, this minus y square but when you are taking minus y square to left hand side it becomes plus y square and here you have minus y into z q you have minus y z q that is taken to left hand side it becomes plus y z q is equal to 0 here the, um, here the same uh, which term get cancelled here yes z square p q and z square p q get cancelled remaining terms you have to combine the uh, terms together so here x x is a q here you have a y is a q so is a q is common take it outside is a q into x plus y and here you have in these two terms minus is it is common so take it that is minus is a p is common take it outside minus is a p into x plus y remaining term is equal to you take x squared and y squared times to other side so minus x squared it becomes plus x squared and the plus y squared it, uh, it goes to right hand side it becomes minus y squared now you have x plus y is common these two terms so take it outside x plus y into what is remaining term you have is that q minus is that p is equal to what is x squared minus y squared formula x plus y into x minus y you have to write this here and this x plus y and x plus y get cancelled and the remaining term you have is z q minus z p is equal to x minus y or z is common take it outside z into q minus p is equal to x minus y which is the required partial differential equation and is of order 1 because q and p are, are of order 1. Now we will see the next problem. You have to form a partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary function phi from this function phi of x squared plus y squared plus z squared comma x plus y plus z is equal to 0. We will do this problem in another method and whichever method you feel easy you can uh, follow it. Given problem is y of x square plus y square plus z square comma x plus y plus z is equal to 0. This is our given problem and this is of the form y of u comma v is equal to 0 where u is x square plus y square plus z square and v is x plus y plus z. Now, uh, one method is you have to write this function phi of u comma v as u is a function of v or u v is equal to some other function of uh, u and you have to differentiate uh, partially with respect to x and y and try to eliminate the arbitrary function. Another method is using a Lagrange's equation you can form a, a partial differential equation by eliminating arbitrary function. So the, you have to use this Lagrange's equation PP plus QQ is equal to R where capital P, Q, R are functions of X, Y and Z. This is a single function of X, Y and Z. Number that is 1 where uh, you have to find out the capital P and the capital Q and capital R values using these terms 
and you can substitute here then the function will be eliminated you can get the acquired partial differential equation now you have to find out the value of capital p which is equal which is obtained by this formula do of u comma v by do of y comma z is equal to the determinant u is differentiated with respect to y and z partially are written in row wise so do u by do y do u by do z and v is differentiated partially with respect to y and z are written row by second row so do v by do y do v by do z which is equal to what is u here x squared plus y squared plus z squared this is our single functions not a function of a function or x y z are just the functions that's all single a single function you have so uh, x is a function of x itself y is a function of y itself and z is a function of z itself here also we in v, v also x is a function of x itself y is a function of y itself and z is a function of z itself so you can do ordinary uh, that is you have to do the derivatives easily so what is do u by do y that is u is differentiated with respect to y so you have a 2y and what is you do u by do z u is differentiated with respect to z that is do, do u by do z you have uh, 2z that is different of u with respect to uh, z squared, z squared is you have a 2z and you have that that is u is different v is differentiated with respect to y so what is do v by do y value do v by do y is equal to um, by partial derivative so remaining two terms x and z are taken as constant and do v by do y is equal to 1 that is written here and how will you find that do v by do z here do v by do z is equal to do you have to differentiate z and the remaining terms are taken as constant so what is do v by do z do z by do z is equal to 1 here so this is 1 and is equal to uh, cross my find out the determinant value that is 2y minus 2z or 2 into y minus z that is the value of p now you have to find out the value of q is equal to do of u comma v by do of z comma x that is the determinant uh, u is differentiated partially with respect to z and x and return in row wise so do u by do z do u uh, do do u by do x and v is differentiated with respect to z and x written in second row so do v by do z do v by do x is equal to here in this equation v is differentiated with respect to z so do v by uh, here the first term you have to find out the first term value do u by do z here u is differentiated with respect to z so do u by do z is equal to this term is taken as constant it becomes 0 and this is taken as constant it becomes 0 and differentiation of z squared is 2z at the term here and next one you have to find out do u by do x do u that is u is differentiated with respect to x on both sides so do u by do x is equal to do what is do do by do x of x squared it becomes 2x and do by do x of y squared is uh, y squared is constant because we are doing partial derivative with respect to x that term becomes 0 and uh, here do by do x of z squared is 0 so remaining term you have is 2x alone similarly the next row with do v by do, that is v is differentiated with respect to z do v by do z is equal to do by do z of x becomes 0 do by do z of y that is y is constant so 0 and do z by do z is equal to 1 next you have to write the now now you next term do v by do x that is do v by do x is equal to do x by do x is equal to 1 and do by do x of y becomes 0 because y is constant and do by do x of z because z is constant constant differentiation becomes 0 so you have 1 alone so is equal to 1 which is equal to 2z cross multiply this 2z minus 2x and 2 is taken outside you have z minus x next we have to find out the value of r r is equal to do of u comma v divided by do of x comma y which is equal to the determinant do u by do x do u by do y and here next row do v by do x do v by do y which is equal to what is the do u by do x that is u is here and that is differentiated with respect to x so do u by do x is equal to do by do x of x squared it becomes 2x plus do by do x of y squared is 0 because 
the y squared is constant when you are doing partial derivative with respect to x and with respect to x z squared is also become 0 so you have 2x alone similarly do you do you by do y that is u is differentiated with respect to y so this term is constant and this is 0 and this term is constant and this becomes 0 so do y do y of y squared you have 2y and the second row is do v by do x v is differentiated with respect to x is equal to do x by do x is equal to 1 and remaining terms are constant and they, that becomes 0 so you have 1 plus 0 you have 1 and next term you have do v by do y that is v is differentiated with respect to y so do v by do y is equal to uh, do x uh, that is do by do y of x becomes 0 y y is differentiated that is x is differentiated with respect to y meaning 0 x is constant and here in the place dou by dou y of y that is dou y by dou y which is equal to 1 plus dou by dou y of z that is z differentiation with respect to y becomes 0 because z is constant when you are doing partial derivative with respect to y so final answer you have is only 1 now you have to cross multiply these two terms so 2x minus 2y or you have 2 into x minus y these terms are substituted in the equation 1 that is pqr values are substituted in equation 1 so you have uh, 2 into that is a capital p value is 2 into y minus z into this p plus q value is 2 into z minus x into this q is equal to r is 2 into x minus y or you can have all the terms is having two that here you have in first two terms, you have to take two outside and here right hand side is two, that is get cancelled. So final answer you have is z minus y into p plus x minus z into q is equal to y minus x. Here minus 2 is taken outside, that's all. So this is the required partial differential equation. That's all for today's video. If you have any doubts in this, please provide in the comment section. And we will see some we will see some more problems with the same topic in the next video. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching.